Hello to you, Avigdor Kaelani. Hi. Hi. Your latest and new book, Leadership in the Circles of Life. Many, many thousands of books already sold here in Israel. And you are meeting many leaders from around the world while you are lecturing. In Israel, China hopefully, United States, Canada, Central America, Panama. And people are asking you, what is leadership all about? What answer can you share with them? Look, uh, leadership is uh, to convince people to join you and to convince people to do the work that you want to do. And uh, the, uh, the highest level of leadership is uh, during the war. To lead people behind you or in the front of you to do the mission and to take the risk of their life. Leadership is it's, it's very complicated. The, the, the main issue that we asking ourselves, leadership, you born with this idea or you can get it during the years. I can tell you, you can study leadership. You can study leadership. You, you, you have uh, a lot of material that you um, can bring with you and you get from school, from many uh, people they have experience. But charisma is not a thing. You born with charisma. What does it mean charisma? If you, you see, listen to people, a person, and he talk, and you cannot move your eyes from this person. It means that he has charisma, and he know how to uh, tell the story. He know how to convince you. He know how to move you from the chair to uh, join to him now in every mission in the world. Um, there are some few things that without that you never can be a leader. And these are specific tools that you are sharing in your new book yeah. about leadership. The new book about leadership I give to any person to study what is, what is leadership. Uh, I'm using Moshe Rabbeinu the prophet that he, uh, he has some kind of leadership that he walk in the desert 40 years. A mm -hmm. few meals here, people, they walk uh, uh, around him and joined him. Another leader is King David. Is different, completely different. He knew how to play the, the piano or uh, the uh, uh, billet. And, uh, and he know how he knew how to kill people and how to fight and to invade uh, Judea and Somalia and to build the Israel country. And you have uh, rabbis, how he lead people. You need, uh, you have a general, how they lead people. You take a soldier and ask him what you look from your leaders during the war. How do you feel? Uh, uh, with uh, with your commander, what you, what you looking for him, what what uh, how why you joined him during the war? We take risk about your life. And you've been in so many wars, and you've been general, and you've been while well, the, the 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 first Israeli soldier in the Golan Heights in the seventy three wars that really made the huge difference in front of the Syrian uh, attackers those days. What is the most essential tool for a leader nowadays, 2019? First, you should be an uh, example. You, you are a model of those people that joined you. And they, during the war, they can see your back. It means you are the first. And you took the risk. We lost many people during the wars because they lead the people and most of our commanders, they found out themselves in the front, behind them the soldiers. 
and they were killed during the war. Because this is the system in our country. You have to be a leader. If you want to be a leader, you should be a be example to show them that you can do better than them and to show them the way to go, not to send them to go. And if you ask question where you are, what are you doing? You ask some of the unit that belong to you, they listen to your voice and say, da, 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 da. what's going on? He doesn't know. He should be with us now in the, in the first line. And he cannot ask questions like that if you have a contact with the enemy, but if you are there, they know and they listen to your voice. Another thing is uh, to be a human being. People, they are ready to be killed for you if you are a commander. Give them the feeling if something happened to them, you never forget to support them, support the family behind it. And you have to be a human being. Human being is sometimes to smile, sometimes to give your hand on the back of the soldiers, sometimes to give attention, sometimes to call him in his first name. And, uh, and many things to give him the feeling. People look the commander in the face and they can read the mimica of the face and say, this, I trust this man and I'm going to join, join him. And just from the mimica or the body language, without and you have to be professional. Three. First example should be a human being and professional. You can be a nice person with blue air, uh, blonde, <laughs> blue eyes and everything and in charm, but if you not professional with what you're doing, nobody will join you. If you don't know how to read map, if you don't know to navigation, if you don't know how to operate the, the tank, the aircraft, the tools that you have, the weapons, the, you soldiers immediately they can find that and they don't trust you. They said, oh, he's a nice man. He's a nice man, I give him my sister. <laughs> <laughs> But please, I wouldn't like him to be leading me. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice man, I give him my sister. <laughs> They can then get married. But to join him, to follow him during the war, and to, uh, he will give me order to send me to the fire in the front of him. If something will happen to me, he's going to take care of me. He will fight to uh, evacuate me from the combat if something happened to me. And this is, you should be a professional. Professional to know what uh, all the small details, maps, weapons, uh, to the navigation, um, to how to talk. Sometimes, you know, you leave people from the ears. Just it. They listen to you. They don't see you. They listen to your voice and they understand you scare or not. You talk like in the radio, like you, uh, you read something from the paper. It's not from your heart. It's not from your heart. You can, if you ask questions because you want to know or you um, call somebody in his name and you said, wow, oh, he He can see me now, and uh, I'm far away from him, and he uh, think about me. This man is ready to do everything for you. This is uh, what I'm trying to give in my book. I try to find the way, the formula that all the leadership, even a mother with 13 kids. She's the leader. She's the leader. In the morning to take all the kids to the kindergarten and the school. And, and uh, many kinds of leadership that you can find. People in the war, people in industry, people in the school, people in the, from the Bible, in the government. Oh, look, Prime Minister, he's a leader, he's a leader. But one of the problems, when you go up in the, uh, the jobs that you get, uh, the duty, 
you cannot touch the people. And you, one, one of the problems, take the Prime Minister, even in Israel, you know, he wants to touch the people. He wants to, uh, the, you know, to shake the hands. But all the security around him, don't give him, he's not allowed to come. I, and now you have to use the communication system, the press, mm -hmm. to support you. The social networks. Yeah. And you know that because you've been in so many uh, unique uh, conjunctions in the State of Israel, also a, a member of the Israeli Knesset, also uh, the Minister of uh, Israeli Internal uh, Security Affairs. So you know that it's a huge challenge to manage huge, huge systems and yet to be able to create a contact with the person. When I was platoon leader and company commander, it was the easy way to leave the, my people. After the battalion commander and brigade commander, it's some difficult because I have many commanders, they listen to me and they give the orders to the soldiers. When I was division commander, I was far away from the soldiers and I want to touch them, I can't. And the moment that I was a leader in the government, wow, you are a picture in the street and people will vote for you because you smile so nice you want to talk to them, to show them what you can do for them. And it, it's, a, it's, it's a problem, it's a platoon leader and the leader of the country is completely different of leadership. And I try uh, to uh, develop the formula how to lead people if you platoon leader or manager on industry factory or um, a politician. That's amazing. Leaderships in the circles of life, Avigdor Kaelani, people that are interested in the new coming international book, they want to be part of your community, just to raise a phone call or to be part of the social network or the website. I want to thank you so much for joining us Welcome. here at Content on Our TV. Thank you.